Hi, it's Neva at timeforinvesting.com. And so this video, I'm gonna answer a question. Someone um, sent me an email, asked me about virtual wholesaling. And it's not something that I do a lot, but I'm just gonna share like the very first uh, virtual wholesaling deal that I ever did, um, how it went down and my suggestions for, um, you know, if you wanna do virtual wholesaling and things like that. So virtual wholesale is basically like you're wholesaling the property and it's like really far from your house or it's like in another state or something like that. So it's virtual as in you're, you're not going to probably visit the property yourself. So for me, that wasn't really something that I was ever looking to get into uh, because I'm like, you know, I was thinking, you know, I'm still trying to learn, you know, my area. I'm not really trying to study another area, but I got this lead. It came through my website. And usually when the leads come through, they don't usually come in and ask for, um, like usually like if a property's worth like say 500,000, they don't use, my leads when I come in through the website and I read the questionnaire answers, they don't usually say, oh, it's worth 500,000 and I'm looking to accept 250,000. But this particular lead, it kind of came in and they were already like discounting what they would accept. So I was like, okay, it's not in my area, but at least I need to definitely call and see what's going on. So I called and it was a really great, um, deal and I was going to be able to um you know negotiate and get you know, there would still be equity in the property so I was like okay let me at least um give this a shot so it was about three or four hours from my house it was still in Virginia but it was like three or four hours away so I got it under contract and usually I don't um I usually get the house under contract before I visit the house anyway. So that wasn't anything different. So I would still suggest that you do that. So I did that. I got the house under contract. And then I was like, okay, I need to go visit the property. I was like, at the time I had my daughter. And I was like, oh, brother, I need to go drive like three, four hours. Because I don't know anyone in that area to send them to look at the property. So then I thought, let me Google and see what I find. So luckily when I Googled this property, the property, um, it was listed not too long ago, like a couple months or something like that. So there were still pictures on the internet of the inside. So I took those pictures and crafted my email and sent it to my cash buyers list and said, you know, and I didn't know if anyone on my list would want it because it wasn't in my area. So, I did that, sent out this list, I sent out this list, and um, one of my cash buyers that purchased a prior property called me and said he was interested in buying it for himself. He was like, oh, you know, it's, Mama, um, yes. What are you doing? I'm making a video. <laughs> so one of my cash buyers was like, okay, I'll buy it for myself because it was like um near a ski resort so he said oh you know i'll buy it and it could be like a weekend property or something like that so i told him i said well the issue i have i usually have pictures that i've taken and i can give my cash buyer more details on it i said the problem i have is i haven't been there yet so um he said well don't worry about it because i was telling him like i need to like get my daughter go down there he said, don't worry about it. So he said, I'll go. I'll drive down there. You give me, you know, make me the first person to see it. And, um. Be quiet. I'm the one making the video. Be quiet. Okay, can you go sit in the chair, please? Be quiet. Okay. So he said, okay. So he said, okay, he would go. So he went. So he, he drove down, and I was glad because I really didn't want to drive down. So he drove down three, four hours to the property, and he calls me while he's in the unit, and he's like, oh, I definitely want the property. Send me the contract. So that's one of the things in this in this business, too. But you, you have to be willing to move quickly. Okay, so he decided that he, when he saw it that he did want to buy the property. So he calls me. Um, so he calls me um, while he's in the property and says, okay, I definitely want to purchase it. Send me the contract. So I usually already have the contracts filled out so that as soon as I get a cash buyer, I can just email it or fax it off. So that would also be my advice is um, 
you have to move really quickly um, because in this situation you know he's a cash buyer he's moving faster than I am he's like okay I'll go down so you know you just have to always be ready to move really fast so I sent him a contract and um, he signed it and um, I said that I was going to answer the four questions. So the first question is, how did I find the lead? And that was, the lead came through my website. Um, number two was, um, how was I able to help the to help the property owner help the property owner to motivate them to sell? In this situation, they wanted to close quickly. Uh, they didn't tell me exactly the reason. They needed to close quickly, but they told me that they needed me to close within seven days. So I had a, a tight deadline too. They also, um, excuse my daughter, for some reason as soon as I turn the camera on, she wants to be around me and make noise. And they also, they were out of state, so they needed us to close without them coming to Virginia. So those were the requirements that they were looking to negotiate. And how did I find a cash buyer? Um, like I said, I sent it out. I sent, I sent an email out that I had the property and that I was looking for people to buy it. And it just so happens that one of the cash buyers that had previously purchased a property from me was interested in purchasing this one. So that was really good. I was excited about that because I was really worried that I didn't have like like a particular um, cash buyer list in. The area of this property was since it was like four hours from where I usually work. Um, and then what crazy happened? Something crazy always happens on every single transaction I've worked on. So now I just expect it. So I would tell you as well uh, to expect it and to make sure that you monitor everything from the beginning all the way to closing because you just never know what might happen. So on this transaction, the settlement company, the lawyer, um, she screwed up the deed and she made a, um, an error on the deed. And so on the day of closing, we couldn't close with the uh, with the deed like with the deed wrong. So um, this wasn't the title company that I usually use because the property was four hours away. And in Virginia, they will not disperse funds until you record the documents. So I wanted to use a settlement company that was close to where that courthouse was. So they were like also four hours away from me. And so like over the phone, they were like, oh, well, we have to wait for the lawyer because the lawyer was working on something else. And I'm like, okay. What in the world? And they're like, oh, well, just ask him to extend the contract because that's the thing. My contract was also going to expire. And so I was just kind of like frantic, like, oh, my goodness, I can't believe, like, here it is. I've done everything on my end, and now the settlement company is about to just completely, you know, mess this up for me. So what I did, I called the settlement company. Um, close to me that I usually use and told them like what was going on and said hey you know I'm just wondering like what can I is there anything that I could do I'm just at a loss right now because they screwed the deed and we're waiting and so he suggested to me that I ask them to just package up everything that they had did and send it to them and then his lawyer would you know get me a correct deed and we'd be able to close and then um once they did that, he would just send the package back to them and all they would have to do is bring it to the courthouse and um, get it recorded. And so that's what I did. So that's why it's so good once you find a really good settlement company because settlement companies are not created the same. I could, I mean, that's another suggestion. I just thought of that to make a video on settlement companies because you would think that with lawyers there that they would all operate but once you find a really good settlement company like I said the only reason why I even switched was I was just trying to find a settlement company close to um, the courthouse where this property was located but it turns out I still had to come back to the settlement company that I usually use to you know get everything moving so that we could close in time so those are my suggestions um, for virtual wholesale deals. So the other thing that I would mention is I know people say virtual wholesale, but I feel like you have to have somebody in that area that you trust um, 
you trust them to go to the house and what they'll say because it's like my cash buyer that went there is an experienced rehabber so even if he didn't purchase the property I could trust the feedback that he gave me so if you're gonna virtual wholesale you need someone in the area where the property is located that you know is gonna know what they're doing when they go to inspect houses so that when they come and give you information you know that you can move with that information and that the information is legitimate so those are my tips and like I said that was my the very first wholesale the very first virtual wholesale transaction that I had ever mm -hmm. worked on and it just kind of mm -hmm. landed on my desk and I didn't want to mm -hmm. just throw it away mm -hmm. so I said let me try and work it and I ended mm -hmm. up being able to close it so mm -hmm. that's my tip for this week and remember to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you next week bye bye uh, okay. Okay. Say. Okay. So he said, okay. So he Mama. calls me. Shh, Mama. Rachel. So he said, okay. I definitely. He calls me. He goes down there. Wait. Stop. Let me start again. What? I don't know. I gotta change my shirt from the next video. Okay. Mm -hmm. Hi. I'm Rachel. Today. And make cupcakes. I mean. Ice cream, I mean, mama, and honey, and grandma.